Hey darlings and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials with Creative Vinyl Designs. So today we're going to apply this vinyl, Cricut printable vinyl, the whole sheet, the speech theme which I picked up from Walmart, onto this 20 ounce skinny. Um, like always I purchased my tumblers from Marshall Made Tumblers and more and I will have the link down below for that. Again these you can pick up from Walmart. So we're just going to apply this onto the tumbler, then I'm going to epoxy it and we're going to turn this into a beach theme wood grain geode. So tons of stuff's going to be going on to this cup and I can't wait to get started. So I've already trimmed off the back so it's easier to peel and we're just going to peel this right away from itself. Okay, we're just going to lay that out flat and make, make sure, so I want the dark blue at the bottom. And then I'm going to place it in the center. And then I want to flip it over and go from the outside, I'm sorry, from the center out. Working the bubbles out. But we definitely don't want it like this. So just gonna lift it right up off of itself really quickly. And just try to tighten it up as much as we can so we have little fixing when we're done. And then it's gonna overlap itself, which is fine because we're gonna trim this and make a nice seam. Okay, so as you can see, I've pretty much done this vinyl wrap a time or two, so it's literally just that fast, and it's now wrapped. So I'm pretty excited about that. There's a little air pocket in there I can hear. I don't know if you can see it um, with all that's going on here, but when I trim this down, I'm gonna be able to work that out. So I have my favorite Wicked Shimmer cutting tool. I'll have the link for that as well. And we're just gonna trim off the bottom. And then just peel it right away from itself, just like that. Super quick, super simple. Now for the top, and just trim this down just to make it easier for myself. And I got some, I got some little wrinkles right there. I want to work that out too. It's all right. We can trim that up. So if you just cut that with your scissors before trying to place it down, it guys, it definitely makes it easier. Sometimes I do things backwards and it's difficult, but just trim it off at the top so that when you go to cut it, it makes it a lot easier and it's not all bunched up on you. There you go. And then just pull it away from itself. All right. Wasn't a little aggressive that time. Okay. And then just work that out. So where the wrinkle was, it didn't cut properly flesh, but then that's okay because I was able to work out the bubble and then flatten that out. Okay. So I'm just gonna hold my fingers here and press as firmly as possible and just tighten this up. So 
So the measuring tape is just, I use it all the time for my guide. That's the sole purpose. And then I'm gonna lift this piece off the top of itself and just pull it away very carefully. See nice little air pockets right there so I can work those out in just a second. And I'd like to lift this off itself just to get up underneath. I mean, you want to pull gently. You do not want to pull too hard because you don't want to like essentially stretch the vinyl. And we're just going to pull that back just so we can get this piece right here. Hopefully I cut all the way through to this other layer. And then we're just gonna pull it back. Okay. Push inward and out. Once I get this wrapped, I'm going to epoxy it, and then we'll get to come back for the other half, which is the fun part. I'm thinking about painting this a light blue, <clears throat> excuse me, goodness, a light blue color, and then white over the top of that to do the wood grain technique. Okay, so this is not as perfect as I would like it to be, so I may go ahead off camera and just tighten that up. Um, but either way, this is, this is not the done finished tumbler. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this epoxied, and once it's epoxied, I will be back, and we'll move forward to the next steps. Okay guys, thank you, and see you then. Hello guys, and welcome back to Everything Tumbler Tutorials. So we are now back and ready to go ahead and paint our first coat. And I'm hoping you can see this has already been epoxied and I taped off the top and the bottom because I still want my trims to stay stainless steel. So I really want the silver to come through on this design. Um, it's a very, very smooth coat and we're gonna go ahead and paint the first coat Seaside Gloss. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the paint rack to dry and we'll come back for the coat of white. Okay guys, and we are back and we are going to paint this white. It's a matte white and we're just gonna put a coat on this, maybe two. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry again and then we'll come back for the wood grain effect. See you soon. Hey guys, and welcome back. Okay, so we're nice and dry and we're ready to move forward with the next step. Um, so I'm gonna use the alcohol link from Tim Holtz, which is Espresso. And unfortunately, I have to use this little brush um, because what happened was I let my grandson play with my other brush and now I can't find it. But that's okay, we're gonna make this one work. So we're just basically just gonna pour it onto the cup like so and then just rub it out. And we're gonna keep continuing this process until the whole cup is covered in the color of your choice and you, however dark, however light, not a big deal. That's a personal discretion.
I will seal this um, before it gets epoxy. That's super important because otherwise Look how well that stuff works. It works so good. And see, we're just gonna rub right on down so we can see the beach theme peeking through. And after I make my designs on how I want to do it because I'm still undecisive. I'm just kind of winging it at this point. I can go back and tighten that up. Just want to get that started and see where I'm where I'm at here. And it's not a large cup, so I don't want to do too much, but I really do want the beach to shine through as well. So I got the Q-tip, so now we can just kind of tighten this up a little bit. You do also have a little bit more control, or I should say a lot more control, with uh, using a Q-tip versus the rag. But you can use whatever it is that you're comfortable with. Now it is time to epoxy, and I'm going to add in a glitter additive, which is called Tiny Diamond by Glitzy Girl Glitter. And we only need a very teeny tiny amount. So I got a head start on mixing the epoxy. Okay, just a teeny tiny amount, and I'm really hoping that is not too much. We're gonna mix up the epoxy. I think maybe, no, I don't think I'm gonna add any more. I mean, it's such a small amount. And I'm gonna do not such a, you know, a huge coat on this one. So if I do feel like I need, I could add a little more than I will. 
but it doesn't look like that's going to be necessary. So I'm just going to finish up the stirring just a little bit, get that mixed in. And we are ready. Oh yeah, that was the perfect amount. Just enough, just enough. I did not really want to overwhelm the tumbler with all the glitter, but just enough to give it a little shine and a little bit of sparkle. want to make sure I get right in those little grooves. I'll probably wait about a half an hour and I will peel the tape off. And if it needs a second coat, then I'll re-tape it and go ahead with the second coat. And there you have it. That's my rendition of a peekaboo geode vinyl wrapped wood grain tumbler. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time.